everyone, I'm Robin Robinson and welcome to Rock's Jewelry. I make jewelry out of semi precious stone and pearl for men and women. Use silver, African brass, Thai silver, and Bali brass. And everything is one of a kind, affordable, exotic jewelry. Most of my inspiration comes from travel. I go to different countries and I spend a lot of time in Greece. That's my base. And I branch out from there. So Greece, Spain, Germany, Turkey. And when I go, I go to bazaars and shops and I find the cutest little things, uh, charms or stones. And then I take it back home and I incorporate it into what I'm working on. So you know that when you see my jewelry you're not going to find it on anybody else it's really one of a kind I, I usually keep it limited to a certain number of pieces so that when you walk down the street you don't go oh I have that you know it's original when you put on a piece of rocks jewelry it's it's amazing it's it really really speaks to me um, I personally love silver and heavy heavy jewelry like clunky stuff chunky stuff and um, She's got it in there. It's fantastic. The way she puts her stones together, the way she uses the silver beads. She's also got some gold and she's got semi-precious stones, but it's, um, it's just lovely. Makes you feel very empowered. The woman who wears Rock's jewelry is very confident. She's bold. She's not afraid to stand out in a crowd. She likes to have attention, and, and my jewelry brings attention because it's three-dimensional and textural, so it makes sounds, very lush sounds when you put it on. But sometimes we Zoftig ladies have a terrible time finding pieces that really look good, and shoes and jewelry and um, bracelets, earrings, they always fit and they always look good on us, and so it's like we should look around to find the... the the extra special pieces that nobody else will be wearing, nobody else has that we have, and that's what makes it special. I like anything that's unusual, and like these uh, turquoise tusks that I found in Greece. I, it took me a year to figure out what I was going to use them for, and then I saw these lovely little tin crosses that I found in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and it just fit. Another one of my favorites is this one. It's amethysts, beautiful amethyst spears that I mixed with silver and then this gorgeous little tin cross. Uh, another thing I like to do is to take old vintage brooches and make them into bracelets. They make lovely cuff bracelets and cuff bracelets are the rage right now. I wear a lot, I either wear a lot of rings and nothing else, except clothes, uh, or a lot of bracelets or a lot of necklaces. I don't tend to kind of combine all three or even two out of the three. For instance, I'll wear bracelets from the wrist to the elbow. Looks like Wonder Woman, you know? Many of these bracelets, the stones come from Afghanistan, the silver as well. So it's really unique pieces, very unique pieces. And I try to make sure that everybody knows the history of all the pieces so they can go back and talk about it. Women don't just want to buy jewelry. They want to be able to talk about the jewelry that they have. They want to talk knowledgeably about the stones, where the stones came from, where the charms come from. And I try to provide that with rocks. You have to wear it with attitude, live with attitude, because you don't want anything that you wear to wear you. You need to be wearing it. It needs to accessorize you. You can't accessorize the piece of jewelry. I think anybody who wears rocks wants to be one of a kind. They want something that really also helps other people, and that's one of the cool things about rocks. I have gift bags that are made by women in South Africa, free trade, and all the money goes back to helping children in orphanages around Pretoria in South Africa. So it's empowering a women's group to start their own business. It's also have, helping children who, who knows, the next Nelson Mandela could be in those group of children in the orphanage. And you can be a fashionista at the same time. The prices range from 30 to 400. Anybody can afford rocks, and, and I don't ever want to exclude anyone. So there's something here for everyone. When I wear a beautiful piece of jewelry, it just says, Hi there, you can't have me because I'm expensive. Jewelry. Jewelry for the royalty in all of us.